Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Um, we have been introduced to a new group called Rattlers. Which seem to be a very aggressive group who take prisoners and, well, they do something with them. We don't know what that is, but it seems like some sort of torture. Because as we saw in the last part, a guy that almost escaped chose to, chose to shoot himself. Kill himself, rather than go back to whatever it was awaited him if he was brought back kicking him. So, I can only imagine what store. Also, uh, I love, I loved in the last part how, uh, you know, we, we clearly got, got bitten. Um, and the dude was like, ha you got bitten, you're going to die. And we're just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> just, it was just a very interesting, uh, way for that to have kind of gone down. So this must be the resort he was talking about. Oh. What was seeing me? Oh, there we go. We got movement. Only got explosive ammo left for that. Okay, so we're gonna have to think about this. Also, the fact that we've got a silenced submachine gun. That just seems shit. Swap that out for yeah, I'll take that. Whoa! What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Christ! Give me a, give me a second. Move. Okay, let me heal. Just for a second. It's all a massive. Okay, we got dogs. Oh, come on. No ammo on that. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, that didn't go down as smoothly as I'd wanted it to. Nowhere close to as smoothly as I'd like. Lots of stuff here. Nice. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? More bullets here. Oh, here's the railroad tracks. Found them. 
can we go in here? No, it's all boarded up. Okay. Let's just follow the tracks then, I guess. Okay. Tracks to the resort. Swap. Thought there might have been something behind it. Okay, we're going up top. Shit. Whoa, that's a lot of people. There's a the dome building. building. <laughs> Bit of a heavy land in there, Ellie. How do I get in there? Is that a no? Hey Rattlers, it's Mackenzie. I'm out. Free. My husband died picking your fucking tomatoes. We aren't some lonely stragglers. I will be back with others. Your time is coming. I mean, doesn't really look like you got too far, pal. Make some arrows actually as well. Uh, are we going further down this way? Cause I don't... Oh, I see. Here we go. Hello. Somebody got out, so... If someone got out, we can get in. Closer, buddy. Hey, leave him alone. Uh, he can't feel anything. Fuck that. I promised him I'd do this to him. This is such a fucked up hobby. Bet you wish you didn't try to escape now, don't you, Anthony? What the fuck? Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't have enough cloth. Go get him, pal. It's all yours. What's the infected? They're all wearing helmets as well to protect from headshots from the looks of things. So it's going to make my job a lot harder. Run away. Oh. Get around her! Get on it! What are you doing? Are so good. We're not out of the water yet, though. I feel like there's definitely more. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
go. Fucking bastard moved. Ow. Come on. Come back. Fine, we'll go to you. Bye bye. Shut it. I think so. These are some sick fucks. If I hit a, a workbench, I'll for sure be able to get um, the damage for the upgrade for the rifle. Is there anything else here? No, looks clear. What about ground level? We got an axe. No, I'll stick with what I have, actually. Anything down here? Bathroom, maybe? Supplements, perhaps? Um, arrows, though. Can't say I expected that. Okay. Uh, I didn't even... I didn't really have a look in here. Uh, although I'll make that silence right now. Oh, workbench, nice. I will for sure be taking that damage, please. Oh, nice trophy to find. on top? Is there anything on top? No. Got a light over here. Though. What's going on in here? Bit of health. Happily take that. Played. Shotgun shells. La Maspa de Santa Isabella. Map of Saint Isabel, or or map of Santa Isabella might be the name of the area. Interesting. What have we got in here? I feel like this is probably the way to go, to be honest. Okay. I'm expecting infected because it's dark. Although I can hear music, someone playing music really loud. Something on the desk? No, it's just a lump. What on earth am I hearing? Okay, it looks like the only way to go is up through here. Down you go. 
Down you go. Reload. Bye bye. Okay, we got a lot more. Hello, friend. Bye bye, friend. Where? Oh, hello. Bye bye. Oh, no, that's okay. You, you don't need to die yet. So I can still use you. Dropped. Oh. Oh, I think I just took her leg off. from I done so well as well If you would be so kind as to just stay there, stay there for a second. Of course you're not. Okay. Okay. Well, that's as good as that was gonna get. Any ammo for me now? Oh, hello. What's this? Health pack. There's still more? Fuck. Didn't re- Oh, they're upstairs. Did not realize that. We're done now. Come on. Don't stop now. I need as much ammo as I can get because I am blasting through all my ammo. What have we got upstairs? It sounds like a clicker somewhere. Oh, 
What's the note say? Jenny, sending along some extra beef, grapefruit, and potatoes I just got. They've been impressed with how many strays I've captured and wanted to reward me. We're seeing the best crop we've had since we settled here. Please make sure my mom gets fatty cuts. She looked too skinny last time I saw her. Pat. Yeah, I'll swap for the baseball bat. Give me one more extra durability. Also, the rifle with the new damage upgrade is doing work. It's great. It's enough damage to just straight up kill someone in one shot. And I'm loving it. Okay. Is this where I was already? I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh god, I missed that ammo. Yeah, I really don't get why they're chaining up infected. The hell never. Dude over here at Hey Strike Shit oh. 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 God Go around get this side Where did you come from? Hit me through a fucking table, dude. To start keeping an eye on my health better. I don't realize I'm so low. Stop with the low battery. You're plugged in, you're charging. Silencer. Just, just to have. Okay. 
Okay, nothing here. Looks like people have been living here though. Did you catch that, Abby? Or Ellie? If you did, that's impressive. Finger in the eye! That was a neck snap. Right, come on, let's go. Hey, well, where's Abby? She's bit. Keep back. Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She got bit? She's probably already dead. Quite a bit of pain here by the looks of things. What about Lev? I imagine Lev probably tried to escape with her. Come on, Ellie. So tough when you're fighting armed. To the beach. Jesus, they're burning the place down. This looks like the beach. Afraid of, I'm honestly afraid of what I'm about to find. Holy Christ! What are they just left to be? Abby, eaten. It's like a crucifixion. There's Abby. Is it? No, it's just got a, it's just got the braid. I thought it was Abby because of the braid. I think I just heard someone cough. Yeah, it did. Here we go.
So skinny. Abby. He's alive. I got you. I got you. They're both this way. I can't say I expected this to turn into a rescue. Come on, Ellie. Wow, that's the boat from the title menu. Wow, that makes that a lot more impactful now. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. Ellie, this is not what you want. I'm not gonna fight you. Yes, you will. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. This is also super unfair because she's completely unarmed and we're wielding a knife. Why are we doing this? I don't want to do this. I really don't. Uh. 
She can't defend herself from our knight. This just feels like an unfair fight. I really don't want to do this. Don't make me do this. Okay, now it's much more a fairer fight. Both on the like, both of us are in absolute bits. Like, why are we doing this to each other? I don't want to do this. Please don't make me do this. You're just going to make me fight her. And You're just going to put me through this until I do it, aren't you? Sorry, Abby. Did she just bite my finger off? Please don't make me do this. Ellie, let her go. Ellie, for God's sake, let her go. This is not the answer. What is this achieving, Ellie? and two fingers. Fuck. I thought 
I thought the guy in the prison said Abby had been bit. If so, why did she want, why did she leave? Like, what was that going to achieve if she was bitten? If not, why did he say she'd been bitten? Did she go back to Jackson? Did she go live with Jesse's parents? I mean, we had a life here. We had a family. Why did we throw it all away for... For what, really? All of our stuff is still here. Oh shit, I've just realized we can't play the guitar anymore. We're missing two fingers on our left hand. Jesus, that's heartbreaking. Drinking coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but it's not bad. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, 
Dina. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. idea what that girl's intentions are, but, but I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. <sighs> if somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment, I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. I like that. I don't really I don't really know how to put into words what I'm feeling to be honest and I've, I've got to give a huge a huge round of applause and a 
some serious credit to Naughty Dog. Despite... Despite knowing what the first game brought and how it took all of the things I expected and did the opposite. Knowing all that, going into this game, knowing that that's what they were probably going to do, even, even kind of knowing a feeling in my heart of hearts that they were going to kill Joel at some point, even through the whole game, it still found ways to completely subvert what I thought was going to happen. The entire perspective switch to playing the three days as Abby to see what, what actually happened from, from that point of view. Um, and then for Abby for Abby to walk away when we've killed everyone who matters to her for Abby to walk away that, that took me by surprise. To then to then think the game was over and for them to go actually no here here's some more now Ellie's gonna go after Abby again and to think she was gonna do it I 100% thought she was gonna do it and honestly I my my heart was in my mouth watching Abby being drowned it was in my I, I just couldn't I could not get on board with that as as a thing. It's just such a horrible, horrible way for someone to go. But she didn't. And I thought she would. I thought Ellie would kill her. But she didn't. And again I didn't expect it. Not at all. It's heartbreaking to see, you know, that, that touching make-up conversation with Joel. She was willing to forgive what started it all in the first place. And then, to see her try to play the guitar, missing two fingers, and that JJ and Dina were gone... Seeking out this revenge cost her everything. The people she cared about. Jesse is dead. Joel is dead. She comes back and Dina's gone. The child she was caring for is gone. Her, her livelihood, her, where she'd been living is gone. That's a hard pill to swallow as well. To know that... The revenge that she sought cost her everything she cared for. And then to compound that with... She didn't get the revenge. She chose not to. In the last second. It's just... It's just some... The whole game was just an incredible experience. An incredible narrative experience. And an, I have to say, for me, an exceptionally enjoyable one. It explored a lot of different... You know, probably what a lot of people would consider very progressive themes. Themes of... You know, obviously we had... Um, a gay relationship between Ellie and Dina. We had... Um, a transgender experience with Lev. We had relationship triangles you know we had so much going on and I can I can kind of get now in hindsight why a lot of people had a lot of negative things to say about this because a lot of that stuff is very stigmatized but the courage that these guys showed to to go down that path and actually you know have a gay relationship so forward and so center as a part of the, the narrative and the plot was very courageous and I thought it was fantastic. 
Um, to have a character like Lev, who whose whole whose whole personal narrative is so complex with being with being Lily and be, the, having the feelings that she had explained to us and to not be able to live like that and to make the changes and the decisions that that she did to become Lev and then the consequences of that you know it's 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 so much to take on but an incredibly bold and courageous move from Naughty Dog to have gone down that road and to to do it in in the sensitive way that it needs to be uh, taken but to also do it well in the right way and I think they did I think they did May maybe other people would disagree with me on that but for me for me this was fantastic I genuinely genuinely enjoyed I don't think I could criticize a single part of this game genuinely enjoyed all of it. Mel was Ashley Birch? I did not. I, I know Ashley Birch. I've, I've watched. Hey Ash, what you playing? I played Borderlands. I never got Ashley Birch out of that character, and Ashley has a very distinctive voice. Well, I guess that's that's the beauty of being a voice actor. No, that was a very convincing, uh, very convincing. Voice. Performance. I didn't even know it was her.
just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world of woe there is no sickness no toil nor danger in that bright land to which I go I'm going there to see my mother she said she'd meet Just a going over home. I know dark clouds will gather round me. I know my way is rough and steep. just before me where God's redeemed their vigils keep I'm going there to see my father I'm going there no more to Just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over home. I'll soon be free from earthly trial. This body red in the old churchyard. I'll drop this cross of self denial and go singing home to God. I'm going there. To see my Savior, I'm going there. No more to roam. I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over. That was a fantastically haunting rendition of Wayfaring Stranger by Johnny Cash. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I wasn't sure if there was going to be a small little thing after the credits. It looks like there's, there's not. Well, I mean, apart from you know, this change of uh, title screen. You know, it was the boat, but there was the fog and we couldn't see anything else. But now 
we see where the actual boat that was in that title menu actually was. But uh, I wasn't sure if there was going to be an actual cutscene afterwards, you know, of, I don't know, Ellie going back to Jackson or Ellie speaking to Tommy or something like that, but apparently not. I guess that's just how it ends. So thanks to everybody for watching. Not just this video, but the whole way through, if you stick stuck with it the whole way through. And for all the support that people have given me over the past, it's almost been a year of me doing this now. It's always greatly appreciated. And uh, it makes what I do worthwhile. And gives me the uh, the motivation to keep keep pumping out videos and keep playing games. So, thanks to everyone. And this is me signing out for another playthrough. So take care, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.